to London to select some beautiful pearl jewelry for box ceremony, which is happening tomorrow. UN official sponsor, congratulations. It's Thank amazing. you very much indeed. Thank you. Why do you think BAFTA is a good fit for, for your brand? BAFTA represents the best in the film industry. And obviously, the glamour involved with the film industry is something. And the ladies who are wearing our jewelry are very associated with glamour, with the world of fashion, with the red carpet. This is obviously the world that uh, enjoys our jewelry, appreciates it, and the sort of clothing that goes with the sort of jewelry that we are producing. We are suckers for colors which don't exist. So we always buy the colors that nobody else wants. Like what? Like we have pistachios, we have blues. Are they we natural? Natural colors. And we collect these. It takes us sometimes years to make enough that we can come up with something spectacular that somebody has never seen. This is one of the radiant orchid pearls that we are very famous for. Again, a natural color, but deep in purple. You probably wonder where it is. It is a morganite. It's amazing, because I've never seen a pearls of this color, and I was, I'm very much surprised to find something like this in nature. It's very, very rare. We are using the finest pearls available anywhere in the world, combined with the finest diamonds that you can buy. We have added element of design using the finest designers to come up with the edgy collection. Everything starts with the pearl. We look at the pearl as the center of each necklace and then we decide how we're going to progress with this. We build around it a collection of other pearls which either match it or complement it or the colors that we feel are going to be the right thing. Then we start the design. There is always a story with every necklace, with every earring. In some cases, we had to get hundreds of thousands of pearls from a pearl farm in order to pick up a thousand or two thousand pearls which are usable in the Yoko collection. Like this example here is a 18.2 millimeter Taisha pearl. It's incredible. It's an incredible size, it's an incredible color. It's, uh, so, what determines the color? Color is purely the DNA of the mother oyster. So nothing me or you can do to tell the oyster, please produce for me one pink color in Pantone number six. Are they cultured? They are cultured, but what is culturing? You just start the process. The rest is nature. We don't have anything to do with it. It goes back into the ocean, stays there between two to three years usually. The color comes out, whatever color nature decides. What, what am I holding? Yes, this is what we refer to as ombre, because if you look at it, the color is very, 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 very slowly changing oh, okay. from very dark to very, very light. Again, this is a signature for the company. Hardly anybody else in the world of pearl can produce this as beautifully as we do. So, but I love Tahitian pearls. Yes. And for me, Tahitian pearl is an aubergine tone is yes. the best. Why? Because I love the way it looks. I think for, uh, pearls is so personal. This is it. This is exactly, I think you put your finger on it. It's so personal. I have in my lifetime been involved with dressing a lot of beautiful ladies, a lot of royalty, and everybody has their own taste. And what you find very, very attractive in aubergine, I might show it to somebody and say, ah, what the, why is that? Could you please tell me about this necklace? Pinks are what we call the radiant orchid freshwater pearls, which is coming from a very special farm. Again, because of their sizes, they're very unique. The Baroque pearls are as valuable as perfect rounds. Absolutely, absolutely. With everything to do with pearls, the rarity is not the roundness. Of course, round is rare, but also uniqueness 
comes with this sort of thing. And I love how pearls are mixed with rose gold and diamonds. That's it's very right. elegant. What is the price of this necklace? The price of this necklace is around 50,000 US dollars. Beautiful. I love the rock. For example, um, if we're talking about South Sea pearls, how many colors? Because when I see a South Sea pearl, for me it's a yellow pearl, which is totally not. There are many different farms producing pearls within what we call South Sea. Now, the, so the classic Australian South Seas, which everybody sort of considers as South Sea, are generally speaking, tones of white. Within the tones of white, you have pinks, greens, blues, greys, which are obviously soft tones. What about this necklace? This is a beautiful golden color. You can see how deep it is. And within the gold, you got that little bit tinge of orange and reds coming through to the golden. Golden, 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 golden South Sea. This is the official name. That's right. Where did they, where did they come from? This came from Philippines. So what is the best investment? South Sea pearl? The best investment is or buy the most pearls. expensive pearl you can afford. Because, because chances are that they are the ones that will go up in value. Or find the most rare color that you can find and invest in that. Your eyes never lie to you. A beautiful pearl, you can see it with your eyes.